guys, I'm Pixie, welcome to this video, today we're gonna make a ducky. But not just a regular one, but a real VTuber. She contacted me and asked to create her into a custom doll. Her name is Ahirune Mei. She is the youngest daughter from a forest duck's family and originally she was a little ugly grey duckling, until magic spirit fulfilled her wish and made her a golden duck. She sent me her pictures and I started working. So, as you can see, her main colors are warm yellow, orange and deep blue. I made those patterns in advance, but before that I carefully studied May's appearance. I want her final look to be as much close to our original as it possible. For that I modded doll's chest with epoxy to create right-shaped silhouette for her. Making of the outfit I'm starting with turtleneck, specifically with sleeves. This turtleneck has long puffy sleeves and I'm making few folds on the cuff area to create that puffiness. To the opposite edge I attach cuffs. For this top I'm using velvet-like jersey. On the bottom part of the sleeve also attaching cuffs. Flip cuffs up, trim the sides, iron to make it flat and sew up from the inside with secret seam to fix on place. May is entertainer. Her channel on Twitch is about games, art, chat and reading, studying and also so much more. I really enjoyed her streams and I highly recommend visiting her. I left her links below. Base of sleeves are done. For a body I made these details and I'm simply connecting them to each other starting from the back seam. All edges of the tails I previously smudged with thin coat of glue to avoid fringing. Also after ironing those would stick directly to the fabric and would look neat. Like that. On the armholes I made small cuts for better flexibility and hemmed edges with needle and thread by the hands. I bent sleeve in half and sew up along the seam to close it. It also easily can be done with sewing machine. Since I like the hand stitching process machine is not essential for me. Trim sticking bumps and turn sleeves out. To continue working on the top, I sew it up in the next seam. You should be sure that your fabric is not too thick for this kind of garment, or it would look bulky. Flatten with hair iron. Those cotton laces would be great accents for this turtleneck. I will attach short stripes of lace to the neck and also to the sleeves. I can't tell exactly what there is on the art, maybe fur or feathers, but I thought that this thing would work on the doll better. On the front I attach thin white velcro closure. Measure it carefully, cut it from both coils and sew it up to the top. But it is not much time to explain now, so maybe next time. It is quite simple, I bet you can figure this out by yourself. Sew up sleeves to the armholes and top is done. Sleeve has only one point of attachment, but this place should be solid and well made. I like fitting, so now going to the next. 
Shorts I'm starting with same routine as before, making all edges neat. Shorts are alike to that one I made in my Jiangxi video. Check this video out if you want to learn more about their making process. Actually, those are jeans overall, and for it I'm using actual jeans fabric. But it is extra thin, so perfectly okay for using into a doll clothing. As for sleeves and the neck on the top, I will make same lace borders for the short leg. Just cut stripe of lace about centimeter longer than actual edge and sew it up. Connect both legs in the front seam with regular stitching. Press seam carefully with heat. For closure I'm preparing back seams by hemming them. Now sew up the back seam. By doing this I simply make enough of opening allowance for a doll's hips to fit in. Fold shorts in half and sew up in the crotch area. Now turn everything out since most of the work is complete. With needle I gather extra space on the waistline in folds. Front piece is what makes regular pants or shorts overalls, but actually it is just simple rectangle. I hemmed it and it is ready to be placed on shorts. Center it and sew up carefully. If you flip it, you will see that everything is actually looks like overalls now. Hem waistline and iron seams. It is also simple with straps. Straps are long rectangles folded and ironed into thinner rectangles. Just be sure your seam is well hidden. Place straps the way you like and sew it up to the places in front and on the back of overall. Before finishing straps, I put pockets on the front. I couldn't see May's back anywhere, so I decided to make crossed straps to make it even more interesting. Overall is almost ready to be put on the doll, on the velcro left. And that's much better. Small shininess for this piece and done with it. On the hips may have some kind of band, or perio, so I make one out of bright yellow fabric. I just fold it and sew it like band in my pirate's doll video. Nothing too extra difficult. I'm pressing fabric with iron to create solid folds and then just fix them on the place with stitching. From the wrong side it would look like that. Those seams wouldn't be visible, because on the front this band would be clipped on a snap. I think snaps are great for this kind of pieces, because they help hold it on the doll well without any extra effort. This plastic sheet covers my workplace from getting dirty and messy. And this stockings has gradient, which I need to paint. Wet details with water and apply small amount of acrylic paint on the fabric. 
The key thing in this process is to create really smooth transition between colors. I always start with lighter colors and move into the darker ones, because I like this way more. Acrylic is highly opaque paint, so there is not much room for mistakes. When you are still on the lighter side of the color chart, it is easier to fix mistakes you will make in process. After few hours of drying my stockings looks like this. Also, I covered painted part from the inside with some bonding fabric. Now I only sew it up and that's it. So, it is time to make another character for this doll. May's head is actually a spirit which made her a golden duck and it looks like a duck by itself. I shaped base of this head on the light bulb of the right size. Inside part of this base is fabric tissue and upper one very stretchy jersey. This yellow layered fruitcake soaked with water-based glue and dried till hardened. With scissors I shaped the base. These small pockets are actually wings of the ducky head. I'm making two pockets out of them and fill them with acrylic yarn leftovers. The top opening I sew up tightly. With glue set both wings to the head. It is essential to keep glue amount enough for sticking, but not much to leak out outside where you don't need it to be. Now it reminds me of Tanker's head, but in funny color. Press wings to melt the glue a bit and flatten the shape into more pleasing. The beak, the sucker. I've struggled with it so much, but it came out cool eventually. For it I used kids craft foam, which I bought in local stationery shop. I literally remade it three times, and this one even not its final form. For eyes I came up with custom made one. Those are hardened fabric paint. Initially I screwed first head with painting eyes on the head directly, but making those separately was better decision. That's how eyes looked glued to the head, second one by the way. And here is older dear brother with messed literally everything. Anyway, I think I would use this foam in my other projects. This necklace I made out of epoxy and painted with model paints of yellow and orange colors. These two ducks would go on the shoes. With black dots of paint I draw them eyes. For the hair I have this light wool I had for a very long time now, and I thought it would make this doll. With alcohol markers I will make gradients on the hair. I haven't any hair dye, so I thought this would work well too. You can't wash those with any soap, but for a display storage it is perfect solution. For retail extensions I made these lollipop bases, which I would cover with wool wefts I made in advance, but first I cover them with suitable color. Later it can be poked in head wherever you like. Direction of the beaten wefts should be chosen right for specific idea. In my case I picked mostly horizontal placement, so hair would flow down naturally. I cover surface of the bead with locks until it hidden under the hair fully. I'm happy those actually made it till the end, because it was my only wool I had, so no room for mistakes. You're still watching? You're great, thank you! If you want to be even better, leave a like and subscribe to thank me for all my efforts, I'd highly appreciate that. In that part of my video seems like I'm more into talking about doll-related or character-related stuff, but I also think it is also a great time to tell about how you can order a custom doll for yourself. Like Ahiruna made it with doll of herself. It is actually pretty simple. If you have an idea, just an idea, it is already enough to make a great doll for you. You don't have to be an artist, or sort out how to make a custom dolls, or buzz your head with all this stuff you need to do before contacting an artist. Just don't bother yourself any longer, my friend. I'm here for you. First and only thing you need to do, and I promise that would be just enough to start, is to find the artist. If you already did, then write a message. Yeah, it is just that simple. 
For example, you can write me via direct messages into my Instagram or Etsy shop. I placed links in the description. And what exactly should I write to the artist's pics, you may ask. And no fear, my friend. It is just as simple as before. You ask if artist is available for a commission. Just start to with something like Hello, I'm Meow Meowson and I'm so into custom dolls and I'm so done but I want a my dream doll come true. Or something in that direction. Usually you have two options. First, artist is busy and they actually will let you know about this in few possible ways. Some artist has information in their description box about their availability. Actually, there are few statuses. It is yes, temporarily no, or they do not accept any. The last one, my condolences, but not every artist is bookable for a commission. Just pick another one. Second, if artist is free and open, available, accessible, you got it. They respond to you with bold yes, tell me more. And here is where the story begins. Now I will teach you how to do Jojo approach to the artist. Begin your conversation about details with few basic but important words. Can you do that for me, please? And how much it would cost? Next, your main goal is to transmit your idea into the most understandable form to an artist and to get information from them. If you already have an idea, go and find some pictures. Open Pinterest, Instagram, wherever you have there. Look for few images. You are looking for an art concept, fashion styles, colors, makeup or hairstyles, photos, maybe you already have character sheet or anything like that. Send all that you found to an artist. And just like that, wait a bit for an answer. Usually from that point, experienced artists should lead you through the whole process to make it easy for you as customer. The only thing you should do is answer artists' questions. And if you have anything to ask yourself, just ask it. If you at some point think that it wouldn't work for you, just let artists know. This simple move highly appreciated. But if till the end of conversation you feel like this is the one, congratulations, you are about to make your commission order from a doll artist. And if you already think that I am an artist for you, just let me know. At the moment I open for a full custom doll offers and I gladly will take your commissions if I have a free spot. I will tell you everything you should know. From you I need just an idea, your motivation and reasonable coin to cover my time and skill. No matter where are you from, my dolls are ready to travel to any spot of the globe. So waste time no more, make up your mind and fall into the wonderful world of the custom dolls. I think one of my next videos will be about commission orders from artists and I will speak about it more precisely if you're interested. Let me know in comments, like, like, you know, you know. Until now, I do really hope that you enjoyed this time with me and I'm waiting for you in my next videos, guys. I do really love creating her and I hope that you find her beautiful as well. See you soon. Bye guys. It's a further sun. A gun done for love. It's a pulse and shove. It's a sharpest cry. The hit goes but why? Where the desperate lie. From ever feeling lost with me, I'll push you back towards the land and sea. They're going down for love, and love is free. Stick with me, and I will guarantee you're never lost among the crowd with me.
She's the youngest daughter from the Forest Ducks family, and originally she was little ugly Dre, Dre Jacqueline. Dre Jacqueline, guys. Dre Jacqueline. Hello, dyslexia. Hello, my little friend. <laughs>